Also, am I like, am I like too loud? <laughs> I forgot what it's like to, to talk normal. Uh, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be playing some Diablo 4 this weekend because I, I'm, a, I'm a big Diablo fan. Well, I skipped Diablo 3 because it was shit. Uh, Diablo 2 is the best Diablo game ever, but we got access to Diablo 4 uh, beta this weekend, so I want to check it out really badly. So we're going to be playing some of that. I'm getting graded. Charno, thanks for the resub. <clears throat> Thank you, thank you so much. How's it going, everyone? I just, uh, this is my first stream back in like 10 days. I, I, I've been moving this whole time. You got a beta key from KFC? What? Why didn't I get a beta key from KFC? They're not doing that over here in Japan? <laughs> Wait, maybe I should check Uber Eats. Hold on. Is there a KFC nearby here? I don't even know, dude. Yeah. No one left. There's a KFC nearby. Let's go. I mean, they're fucking everywhere in this in this uh, country. Not zero. Thanks for the 15 months. I pre-ordered? No, I didn't pre-order. I didn't pre-order. I, I got a I got a code from someone. Uh Nazaro, thanks for the resub. Yo, uh, shout out to Cherno for the raid. Thanks so much, guys. Welcome. My name's Alex. Arix, whatever the fuck you want to call me. Uh bald guy. Uh <laughs> um I just moved her stream back in 10 days. Eastern Lion. <laughs> We're going to continue this game that we started a while ago. It's Horus. It's a really weird game, but but good. Good weird. Good weird. Uh, welcome on in. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, I'll be right back. I actually forgot to put deodorant on. <laughs> Can I really... <laughs> What's up, guys? Man, I'm so glad they don't have smellow vision for streaming in 2023. We honestly don't need that. And you know what? I hope they never, ever uh, make something like that. Okay? Yeah, we don't need that. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Glad you're back. I've missed your streams. Hope everything with moving went smoothly. No one loved. Thank you, Squinch. It's it's great to be back. Great to be back. Hope you're having a great one. <clears throat> uh, again, so for the next 10 days or so, I'm still going to stream, but it won't be as normal as I usually stream because my mom is actually... Coming to Japan in 12 hours from now. Uh, so she's going to be here for the next 10 days. Uh, but after that 10 days, I am going to go crazy. 
You know, because we moved in the house, we're going to be settled. Ah, ah, ah. He's not wearing a watch. Oh, that's why I couldn't see it. Okay. Whoa, I, oh, okay. I really forgot how this game works. <laughs> okay, geez. <clears throat> Oh, for the, for you guys asking, uh, my, my mom has been to Japan, uh, once. It's gonna be her second time. So I remember we saved this guy... Fuck, wait. Oh, Jesus. Uh. Fuck. It's good to be back. It's good to be back, everyone. It's good to be back. Do you miss your uh, awful gamer? Oh, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> fuck! I'm so bad! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wait. New house. Hope the move went well. No one It was I. Right. Oh jeez. Okay. We're back. Oh fuck. Can I jump on this guy? I can't jump on him. Yo, absolutely. Thank you so much for the resub. It's it's still weird. It's still w weird waking up into the in this place and just realizing, wow, uh, we're in a house. That's weird. Oh no, we we met we met the neighbors. Oh man, it was it was so awkward oh no uh uh the so the neighbors are are a couple and they have a an eight eight month old uh boy so they're also uh they're also new parents as well yeah perfect right uh and the the wife came over and she she rang the doorbell um and I can see through the intercom, like, you know, uh, you know, who's there. It, it shows like a video. I'm like, who the hell is this? Cause I didn't know who the hell it was. So I like, she was like holding a baby and I was like, uh, so I like, I, you know, Monica, Monica is, a, is quite the chaotic baby. So I had to like grab her, uh, you know, and hold her while I like, you know, peeked outside real quick. And I'm like, hello hi can i help you and she's like oh hi i'm i i live across from you and i'm like oh okay I, I, maybe she saw like the, the the tense like look in my face like who the fuck are you uh i hope i hope she didn't uh notice it too much though um <clears throat> anyway uh she's like hi i'm blank uh you know the, the, and you know we we live across fr uh, from you and uh it's it's great to meet you and she's like oh, oh by the way here's here's a gift from us and then immediately i'm like oh my god 
that's a thing we have to get gifts for our neighbors oh no uh and then i'm like oh thank you so much oh uh, i'm sorry we, we didn't I, I blurted out oh we didn't get anything for you i i, I should have said nothing i should have said like you know nothing and then like you know immediately gave it like right away the next day but instead i'm like oh i have nothing for you and then <laughs> Uh, and then she and then she kind of had this like kind of awkward face. It's like, uh, oh, it's, it's okay. Uh, don't worry about it. It's okay. Don't worry about it. She was she was very nice. She was very nice, but I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have even said anything. Um, and then, you know, uh, she's introducing her her uh, her boy, you know, like, oh, this is his name. And, and, uh, oh, like, oh, this is Monica. And then, you know, Monica was being shy, of, of course. And, well, it's, it's great to meet you. Uh, looking forward to, you know, being your neighbor. Uh, and then, uh, <clears throat> and then that was that. And then the next day, there's a bunch of construction people that come through, like, our area because, like, there's a lot of, uh, you know they're they're still fixing up some houses and stuff and one of the one of the guys that actually helped us with our house happened to be outside and he's like oh hey you know how's it going how's everything like is is everything good like you know do you need me to go in and and look at anything or fix anything and uh and then i was like oh oh who, who are you again and then he, he he like pulled down his his mask like real quick and like sh like oh I'm, I'm oh hi it's great to see you again I, I was like oh my god I forgot <laughs> oh, man and then uh so I was like oh yeah it's it's great you know oh yeah actually I I got like a couple of things I need your help with uh yeah sure uh so I told him about that and then, you know, there's this guy, there's this guy, uh, that was standing in like my peripheral vision. And I was like, like, what, like, what, what the fuck? What, who is this person? And then I look over and then there, there's a, there's a guy with glasses. And then he's like, kind of smiling and like, you know, just like, like waves and stuff. And then me, I'm just like, like, who the fuck is that guy? And then I, I start like, I like kind of like ignore him for a second. <laughs> I walked back inside because I needed to I needed to, I was like rushing I needed to do something oh no yeah you already know what this is gonna be and then uh you know later in the day later in the day I go out with me and my wife and and a kid to go like uh grocery shopping and whatnot and then we come back and then that same guy happens to be outside and then he he comes up to us. I was like, who the hell is this guy? And then he's like, hi, I'm, I, uh, I live across from you. And I'm like, oh my God, it's the husband. And then I, and then I realized, oh my God, I was so rude. I, I didn't say hi to, I, I didn't know who he was. Uh, maybe he thought like, you know, like, oh, uh, maybe he, uh, maybe the, he knows who I am. So I'll, like, I'll just like smile. And then, <laughs> And then I properly introduced myself. I'm like, oh, it's great to meet you. I'm sorry. <laughs> and then I realized like, oh my God, it's it's been another day and I st we still haven't gotten them a gift. And then I'm, I go back into the house with, oh, you I'm like, you go, we have to get him a gift. I'm like, what do we do? And, and she's like, oh, don't worry about it. It's like, it, we don't have to get him a gift like, like, uh, like right away. I'm like, but, but like they gave us a gift and it was really good as I'm like eating the cookies <laughs> that they gave us. Uh, yeah. Perfect first impression. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that was my experience meeting my, our, our first neighbors. Uh, that was great. But yeah, it's, it's it's going great so far. Oh jeez, I forgot that this game does that for a second. Oh. Eighty-six months. Pog always enjoy the streams. Arix, congrats on the new place. No one rave. Thank you so much. It's Thank you so much. It's been an amazingly bold two years. Dark Methos, yo, eighty-six months. Damn. Danny, awesome with the twenty-two months. Thank you so much. Docs by movers, neighbors hate you. Time to move. I uh, yeah. Speaking of the the movers, man, they were, th these guys were some like ruffians. They 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 like uh. 
they uh they seemed really aggressive with each other uh the gate was locked i would need a key to open it what i just opened it though what the fuck why did he say that There's an easter egg if you fall into a sky? H how do you even do that? Oh, I know how you do it. Like this. No? Uh, hold on. Move back to LA where the neighbors will. Oh, uh, uh, so is this is this like a normal thing in America at all? I, I I've I've never done this. Um, but apparently in Japan, when you when you get movers, you're supposed to buy them food and drinks, uh, or like at least like a snack. Is is that is that normal in America? Cause I've I've never I've never had a moving company in America. Have I? I can't remember. It's not common or fairly normal. Uh, 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 okay, it's it seems to be mixed. Anyway, um, <clears throat> uh. We bought them, we bought them tea, like cold tea. And then we also bought them a uh, cream pan, a cream pan. Uh, or uh, like cr uh, cream bread. Uh, I, I don't know how to explain it. It's like, it's like really a uh, nice bread. It's not a cream puff. It's like, it's like bread, but it has like really sweet, like uh, custard thing anyway they're really famous uh and we got them for the the movers and they're they're really uh they're really happy about it um but yeah they were they were super aggressive with each other like there was one there was one kid that got uh here late he's like you know i'm sorry for being late oh i'm sorry about that and then from there like the the leader was like so fucking like hard on that kid he was like, he was yelling at the kid. The kid got like one, one box. And then immediately he yelled at him. He's like, if you can hold one box, you can hold two. What the hell are you doing? Get, get, off, get another box. And, uh, he started like, uh, yeah, do, no, I'm, I'm not even joking, man. He was like, yelling. he was like, uh, he, he, he had some like dirty language towards the, uh, the kid. Jock movers. Yeah. That's what, that's what my wife was saying. My wife was saying that, um, they they uh they seem like you know typical uh like sports jockeys uh sports jocks um like uh like in baseball club or something yeah they are meatheads they, they were meatheads yeah <laughs> alpha males <laughs> uh but every single mistake he was like yelling at him and i kind of felt bad for the kid and, uh, so, you know, when he was coming up to me, cause they were, they were checking with me, like, where do we put this box? Where do we put this box? The kid came up to Hello me, like, you know, and he was like one. super, super nice and polite to me. And then I, I just couldn't help to say like, Hey, don't worry. Don't worry about like, like me, like, you know, it, you don't have to keep apologizing. Just, just, just do, just do your work and you're good. Like I won't, I won't get mad. And then he he kept apologizing to me after that as well. I'm like, okay, well, I mean, I, he's a good kid, I guess. Uh, Kokichi, thanks for the 68. I I want I, I wanted him to feel a little bit better because he was being yelled at so much. Hello? Is this Jeff Bezos? Wu one year and here he is still being the best streamer. Potent platypus. Uh. Uh. Did you? 
Did you resub in the wrong channel? <laughs> I think you got the wrong channel, maybe. Uh, thank you for the prime, though. <laughs> yes. Hey, nice stinks. Hope it was a smooth process, no one in. Yo, so Tembori, thank you so much. Oh! Oh my god, that was a big one. That it could actually clean up. Nice. Oh, we unlocked that that one gate. Z Zan? Thanks for resubbing on that piece of shit channel. Why did the and Storms, thank you as well. Pizza. Because he ate it before it was cool dot backslash. Wow. Striker, you just are cool. Thank you, Striker, for your puns. Whoa, 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 what is this? Yo, Brennan, thanks for the prime. <clears throat> I missed one trash? I can't go back. Oh. Wow. I died. <clears throat> Wait, Death Blaze. What? No what? One raid. Didn't that... You guys, what are you guys doing over there? Stop giving Rex was here, buddy. He's a piece of shit. Wow, only Rex was here can get a hype train offline. Like I, I, I don't understand. Halacia, thanks for resubbing. Death Blaze and Zen with the five gifted subs. Both you guys are crazy. Start. Stop giving Rex was here, buddy. <laughs> Oh shit, I can't even make that. How do you make that? Sultan Bari, thanks for gifting a sub to- Wait, what? To me? Halation with the five gifted subs. Okay, you know what, guys? Huh? <laughs> Axis, thanks for resubbing. Honor X was here. Halation, thanks for getting yourself there. Axis was here. Dude, why why is this happening? Also, do you do you guys know what the fuck this is? What is this? <clears throat> How do I interact with this? It's a trash can that I can't do anything with. Oh fuck. Huh. Tangled String, a brand new sub on RX was here. Okay, you know what? <clears throat> Guys, RX was here only as... RX was here only as a 50-50 split. Did I go the right way? <laughs> Hellkick, thanks for the reason. You all right. Uh, slumbering. Yo, thanks for gifting us sub. Also, Professor Rerun, thanks for the prime. Thank you guys so much for the, the huge, huge I took the welcome back. The Seriously. The fisherman was right. Everything was in pieces. Everything had been destroyed. I got the boat in Welcome some back. They must have once been a town. Storms, thanks for getting so the happy birthday Alex was here. Did you just make that account? No! That account has been active since 2019? Who the fuck did that? Why? 
Hellking, thanks for the resub. <clears throat> also, by the way, if you guys ever want to catch me on my second channel, uh, make sure you follow. Make sure you follow Arexos here, so you don't miss any uh, random streams that I do over there. <clears throat> What? Oh, that scared me. You all right? Yo, Zed, thanks for gifting a sub to happy birthday. Every but 12 months. He's jolly good fellow. Happy birthday. It's not my birthday, though. King, thank you for the gift to sub. At least it's 12 with a higher split. Let's go! <laughs> How do all of these accounts exist? I don't know. People keep making these accounts. <clears throat> Oh, oh, I can't walk on that one. Oh, what is that thing? Over there? Right. Yo, Nihilator, thanks for gifting us up to Pootie Pie. Right. Hey, Pootie Pie lives in Japan now. Well, actually, it's been over a year, I think. Maybe more than that. Salt and Bori, thanks for gifting us up to number one, Arix. <laughs> Don't you need a unique email? Uh, no, actually, I think that uh, you can make multiple accounts on the same one. I'm not sure unless they stop that. Oh, they have the phone number uh, verification. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my God, he's in Japan. I'm st I'm still in Japan, guys. Uh, am I still cool? I hope so. <clears throat> I was confronted by a lovable fat old dog. He almost he looked fat to see me. Suddenly, three men appeared holding large guns. Or at least two men and what looked to be a pregnant woman. What? Incredibly, it was Mr. Silton. What? I thought you'd been shut down, he said. I mean, it's been years. I'm not really sure what happened, I replied. I then told him about me cleaning a million things. He laughed and said, nothing changes. He then showed me into what was surprisingly a really nice house. Please excuse my what? husband. Said the Why does it say lady. fatty? I'm Edwina. But everyone calls me Eddie. What the fuck? I believe you know this idiot. And that's Preston. We've met. Said the small man. It was me that delivered that thing, remember? All you used to deliver was weed. Mumbled Mr. Silton as he put the dog <laughs> dish on the floor. And I was there that night when this twat was off his face on mushrooms. Thanks for letting me and the dog stay, by the way. Yeah, well, we like the dog, said Mrs. Silton. And I suppose I've got you to thank for us meeting. What with you giving Barry those dodgy magic mushrooms? He pulled out an old photograph. It was one that Heather had taken the night I had saved Mr. Silton. Oh, that's right. He was high on drugs that night. <laughs> it reminded me of everyone else. So I asked what had happened to them. Smile. <clears throat> <clears throat> Mr. Silton said Alice had a small place in the countryside. 
the professor had holed up in one of the old man's factories. Oh, wait. Mr. Deck was, believe it or not, now a presenter on the only state television channel. <laughs> and Heather and her mother lived on a government compound where they both worked. Everyone's alive. I asked about the old Except man. Except for the old man. Surprised that Mr. Silton hadn't mentioned him. He's... He's dead. Said Mr. Silton. Sorry. I thought you knew. Anyway. Said Mr. Preston. I thought you said that robot thing found the mushrooms for you. In that order's manky old barn. Mr. Silton looked embarrassed. Well, said Mrs. Silton, I guess we've got you to thank for getting us together then. Time for bed I think, said Mr. Silton, make yourself comfy, and we'll see you in the morning. No! Anyway... <clears throat> what?! Is go- I can move?! What is this? Yo, this is actually really trippy. Yeah, I, I, I thought the same thing. It, this is trippy as hell. Old man? No? I serve the chaos. New batch. <clears throat> no one chaos FFZ hyper. Wait, what the fuck? Wait, what did you do to... What did you do to number one chaos? How did you do that? The next day, I thought it might be a good time to ask about the war. Judging by the look on everyone's faces. It wasn't. Well, the war, said Mr. Silton. Barry, interrupted his wife. Can I see you for a minute? And dragged Mr. Silton out of the room, leaving me with Mr. Preston. Hey. All of a sudden, Mr. Silton <clears throat> appeared. I How about it now, chaos. he said. Is Mrs. This what Silton one of your started to make like some food, no and Mr. Left. Preston was playing with the dog, leaving me to chat with Mr. Silton. I said that I really wanted to see everyone else, but Mr. Silton said that it wouldn't be that easy. Traveling now, especially for a robot, is complicated. Go back to the house, you could even do some cleaning. Wait there and I'll work out a way to get you to each of them. I told him that I couldn't get into the main house because the hallway ceiling had collapsed. I have just the thing, said Mr. Silton, as he pulled some sort of card out of his pocket. If you can get into the caves under the church next door to the house, you can use this security pass to get into the old man's laboratories. You can get into the main house that way. I was so excited, I would be able to get back into my old room, I said thanks and made my way to the front door. Also, I think you might be able to help us out, said Mr. Silton, but we'll meet up back at the old man's house in a couple of days. You head there and we'll see you soon. Nice. Uh, yo, Reaper, thanks for the resub. Uh, so it's Frank or Z has subscriptions now? That is crazy. Zero Kelvin's with the resub thing so much. Does one of your dreams look like? No, that's what a robot stream looks like. Hello? <laughs> is this Jeff Bezos? <clears throat> P R I M E T I M E. Yo, hi24. Thank you for the prime. Dude, it's the battle of the extensions, man. So I still can't, I still can't go into the water.
Did you miss the announcement? The announcement is you're amazing. I wasn't sure what to do with this machine. Passports. The huge door was sealed shut. I wasn't sure how to get inside. Okay. Meanwhile, let's push over. Think I we need to react to. Uh, oh yeah. Oh fuck! I didn't mean to do that. <clears throat> Oops. So guys, don't don't make fun of Twitch, man. They're just an indie company. They're trying their best. <clears throat> of course, they don't know what they're doing. Okay, back onto the boat. I took the fisherman's boat to the old man's estate. They added the title at that link to the streamer's info unless you follow them. Yeah, maybe uh, I can get more followers. <laughs> Let's do it. A speed run of this game will make you sick. Good thing I'm not that good at video games. <laughs> I, you know, I feel, I feel like I'm, a, I'm feel, I feel like I'm a, missing something in here. I, I did. 20,000 junk collected. We only need a million, guys. No big deal. Right? Is there is there a way to, like, interact with this? It seems like it, it, it controls the... <clears throat> I had to be careful. The electricity was going haywire in some places. Okay. Wait, hold on. Oh, that's water. Fuck. Okay. Uh, let's try. Oh. Don't you love this game and how many times it rotates? Uh, oh, new shoes. Is there a way to interact with things in this game that I'm like, game? Binoculars? No one, no one. Yo, Salinkus, thanks for the prime. How's it going? Oh, this is where I woke up. <gasps> Wait, so nothing special here then? <clears throat> Oh. 
But yeah, this is where we maybe maybe there's something special that comes with this. Oh, it, the point is to get back inside the house. I think. Oh. We're back in the house. I swear I'm missing something. He gave you he gave you a key for the church next door's basement? Wolfgang, thanks for the resub. Yeah, it's it's been a hot minute since I played this. So I definitely am ah fuck. I definitely am forgetting. <sighs> Uh, you remember him giving a key? Well, that key opened up this area, but like this seems like something I can interact with. It's glowing. I can't seem to interact with this. I guess we don't do it yet. I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, maybe it's for later. Oh, fuck. Thank you for all the fun streams. I had the pleasure of watching MGL Hard Love Animated Crush Q Pro Hunt. Mary with the thousand bits! Thank you so much! Didn't he give you, didn't he just give you a key to get in through the lab? Uh, let's, let's go to the church. Wherever that is. We're gonna leave here. No biggie. The church is this way. That's not the church. This is the guy that I found, the saxophone guy. Ah! did it love this song are you a Horus fan oh that that touched me no it did not as I walked through the old church ruins I was surprised to hear mr. Silton calling me he said he had forgotten to give me something and the church's community hall would be the perfect place to try it out as soon as we walked into the hall, Mr. Silton said he had a present for me. It was a pair of Atlas gloves. <gasps> oh! They made me think of the old blind man with the cat and his stolen Atlas gloves. I wonder if Mr. Silton knew how lucky he was to still have them with a glove thief around. Mr. Silton asked me to try the gloves on and start chucking things around. But not him. <laughs> he was very clear about that. <laughs> 
Mr. Silton suggested we clean the hall. Of course I knew when he said we, you meant me. But I was happy to try out my new gloves. He said I should clear everything off of the basketball court and put the things on the floor either side. I fiddled with the settings for a bit, but when Mr. Silton <laughs> saw I was having trouble, he produced a small manual. Uh, he you can't use that. Pressing down and X would pick a thing up. X would then throw the thing, and if I wanted to place it on the floor, I should again press down and X. Oh jeez, I'm he really was sore. More and more confused as he read all this, but eventually he finished by saying, "Well, I hope that made more sense to you than it did to this me." This is an actual atlas. Logo, can they do that? You like that? First shot? Doesn't miss? Can I get in this one? Ah! <laughs> too good. I'm too good. Yo, Jack Ranger, thanks for the resub. Wait, I don't get it though. What am I supposed to do? Oops, I killed him. <clears throat> oh, I just I just clear the court. Oh, okay. Uh I I didn't mean to throw a baby. Am I listening to the game? Of course I'm not listening to you. You think I'm fucking listening to the game? I'm I'm looking at you guys the whole time. <laughs> Fuck! I see that the high, uh, the heavier it is, the longer it takes to actually pick it up. <gasps> oh! Did you see that? I caught it midair. I yeeted Jesus. Uh, <laughs> I I had to yeet him again. Oh no! Oh, he fell down. Let's see what else these gloves can do said Mr. Silton as he flicked through the manual. He actually looked quite excited when he explained that holding X while walking into or under a falling thing would allow me to catch it. I must admit, I was then really Wait, happy I already did that. suggested we make it a game and I try to catch 10 basketballs. Mr. Siltron suggested we make it a real game and see how quickly I could score 10 baskets. 
I enjoyed this so much. It felt just like the good old days. Except Mr. Silton wasn't as forgiving as the old <laughs> man. That reminds me of the one time where... I, I can't remember... What I was doing. Or why I was there. But... Oops. Have you guys ever gotten, like, hit by a ball really hard? Like, really hard? There was one time where I was playing basketball with some friends at a school. It was like a... It was like a... Like an after-school thing. I'm not sh exactly sure what it was, but... Fuck, I, man, my ADHD won't let me, like, uh, talk while I do this. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, like, uh, there, there was, a, there was a, a baseball team that was doing a practice at the, at the baseball field that was, like, somewhat near. You know, it wasn't actually even that near, but it was in the same, same still school grounds. And guess what happened? I caught a ball. No, uh, almost caught a ball. Uh, so we were playing basketball and then, you know, it was getting all heated up. We were, uh, you know, we we're having a good time. And then all of a sudden, like 10 people from the baseball field are saying, watch out, watch out. And then, uh, you know, of course I start like panicking, like, like what the fuck? And then, uh, you know, out of all the people on the court, there was 10 people on the court. Out of all the people, it had to hit me. But in the worst way though, I started running and panicking. I had no idea where the ball was coming from. I was running and then it fucking, Bam! Hits me on my fucking ass so hard. I couldn't sit down. And you know what's worse is that if I didn't run, that would have not hit me. It wouldn't have hit me if I didn't run. But of course, I ran into the baseball. And it hit me so hard on my ass that I couldn't sit for like a few days. It was, it was so bad. So not only out of the 10 people it hit me, but also... I ran into the ball. It sucked. It sucked. That was the only time in my life that I actually got hit by like a ball like really hard though. You know, you guys are probably wondering like, man, this guy's unlucky. Well, I've been unlucky for a very long time. When I'd scored 10 baskets, Mr. Silton gave me what he called a high five. He said I now knew everything about the gloves and I should be able to continue through the basement of the church into the house. When I asked him if he was coming with me, he just laughed and said they would catch up with me in the main hall. Wait, how did you run it to... Okay, do I need to... Do I need to spell it out for you guys? Hold on a second. No one left. It's time to get MS Paint open. Wooly, thank you so much for the resub. How's it going, Wooly? Okay, look. Uh right? And then, you know, there's a base right there, base right there, base right there base right there uh pictures Stop. staying whatever you know uh whatever uh baseball a baseball hitter right here right this is the, the bat right okay and then here all the way over here is the basketball court this is quite far though you know basketball uh uh court yeah 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 uh, bam. 
whatever yeah uh and then i we were playing basketball here right and then the ball shoot like they hit it all the way over here and then we i heard I heard, watch out, watch out. And then me, I was like right around, right around like here. And then I started running this way towards this way. And then the ball happened to hit right on my ass after, after running. I was facing, I was facing this way. So that's how it hit my ass. Eric's going after my job. Kiko... I'm sorry. I, I, I'm, I, you know, I already made a, I already made a PayPal. Uh, I, I'm ready to take your job. Uh, Volpez, thanks for the 53 months. <laughs> it sucked. Also, for some reason, I'm remembering uh, having a friend that had really bad asthma, and then that same day, they had a really bad, they had a really bad asthma attack. Hopefully that is much better. Wait. Yo, strike your ass. Ass, 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 ass. How was the move? Uh, it was great. Still uh, doing a lot though. <clears throat> oh. What is that noise that stood in a gigantic cavern i was stood when in I a looked down i was horrified to see hundreds of corpses of those things as horrible as it sounds my stepdaughter chip said they were things to clean so clean them i would hi mr art streamer i would like to commission an art of a guy getting hit by a baseball in the ass from across the pitch all the way to the baseball court <laughs> Or basketball court. <laughs> Do I clean up their bodies? Oh no, I'm cleaning up their bodies? <gasps> what? I think eventually I'm going to be able to walk on water. Yeah, I think I'm going to be able to walk on water. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's really loud. Bruh. I turned down the sound effects and it's still loud as fuck. How is it possible? <laughs> Oh, I can't get through here. Okay. That's fine. <gasps> oh! Okay. We're gonna go this way.
That must be the door Mr. Silton talked about. Okay. <laughs> what, what, what did Mr. Silton say was the door? I have no clue. Of course I don't. The lab. Ah, the lab. That's, that's right. I knew that. The door was exactly as Mr. Silton had described it. I just hoped that the card he had given me was the security key and not just some backstage pass. <laughs> well, it opened the door. But soon an alarm went off. <gasps> what? Something caught my eye. It's a small yellow sphere. Wait, that's my face. Next to it explained that it was a shield that would automatically take a hit for me when activated. The Y button took the shield in and out of storage, meaning I could save it for when the going got tough. It seemed that I started with two slots to carry shields, but I could upgrade to be able to carry more. If both I and the shield died in the same room, the Lazarus chip would bring us both back. It's almost as if the shield needed its sacrifice to mean something. Huh? It felt like a true friend. Proving that even the simplest of faces can bring out an emotional reaction. Wait, so I can... I can just get hit once? Ah! I'm allowed one hit. Oh, that's... That's awesome. Also, what... What the fuck is this... Oh! Eleven junk combo! Oh man, it's gonna be difficult. Uh I don't get it. Ah. They go away if you take too long. Okay. The precision needed for this is ridiculous. Luckily, I'm a amazing gamer. Something literally caught my eye. I remembered the old man had installed some software that helped show me things that were interactive, and how to interact with them. This must be what he was talking about. The electron gun oh! power. I needed to turn it back on before I could fire again. What the fuck? <laughs> Yo, that's sick. Okay, so now we can interact with stuff, which means we can go back and interact with, interact with the trash can now.
Ah, oh, fuck. Um... Right? There was a trash can, right? Well, looks like it's something you can't interact with. You know, it's fine. I... Yeah. Oh, pick up the tra- Oh! Oh! Wait, so... That's it? Oh. I did it! <laughs> it just has junk in there, yeah. Oh, 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 okay. We did it. <gasps> it's a boss. Uh, wait, let me get my shield back. Okay, thank you. It, it, okay, though. Wow, this was clearly worth something. Oh, it, it is? Okay. I got 43,000 junk. <clears throat> the video recorder's blinking light caught my eye. It must have been years since I had seen a film or TV show. Maybe I could take a little break from my quest. Oh, what's up, Acock? Thanks for the resub. As the video started, I was surprised to see the old man. Hello, hello. He bellowed in his familiar tone. This is test number, um, 107C. He continued as he read from a clipboard. This unit still has three major issues. One. The shell is so incredibly thick that the whole machine is still far too large and heavy. 2. The missile system is too unpredictable and aggressive. <laughs> and 3. The trade-off between power and intelligence is far too great. I think the military capabilities would be far too dangerous in the wrong hands. I think we would be best to push forward with the Innocence Project. I didn't really understand a word of what he said, and I was slightly disappointed that he had recorded over the film, but it was nice to see the old man's face again. Okay. Ah, 
I wasn't sure what was going on, but suddenly, inanimate objects started to come to life. Uh, hello? Stop? Can we... The text to speech voice is so off putting. Hey, when you're a solo dev, you gotta do what you can. Oh, there was a shield in there. How the hell am I going to get there? I can't get there. Can I hit these? No. No, no. No. I have to go through this way. Do they respawn? They respawn. Okay, forget it. Rock be beating scissor. Oh my god. I didn't even think of that. I didn't even think of that. My God, I'm awful. Please don't tell me that. I think this game is revolutionary. Oh God. I'm gonna have to duck immediately. Okay, I missed some stuff, but you know what? I don't care. I should try picking that up. Oh, what? Ah, so it does. Okay, it keeps the those those walls up.
Whoa. Yeah, the idea behind this game is just so good. Oh shit. Uh, whoa. I didn't mean to do that. I need that shield really bad. <gasps> oh, what was that? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> What's the name of this game? It's called Horus. Okay, didn't quite make it. <laughs> Maybe we should go this way instead. Maybe we shouldn't go this way. Welcome back, bold man. No seventeen. Yo, and I'll sensei. Thank you so much. It's good to be back. It's good to be back. I don't think I was supposed to make that. Actually, I was. I lied. those not die I guess they don't let's try going over here yeah they let me jump higher oh no I lost my shield oh, I don't want to start over I don't want to start over I think I needed to do that. Yet I did it anyway.
Oh, they don't hurt me? Oh, they don't hurt me. We're safe. Ow. That hurt me. Fifty thousand junk collected. How long is this game? I have to get to a million. I'm starting to get concerned. Are the trash cans? I think the trash cans are, are checkpoints. Oh. I could go for a bacon egg and cheese biscuit. What about you, Arix? Oh, dude, I could go for the same. That sounds amazing. But today for lunch, I'm going to have sashimi. We're trying out the new... We're trying out the new... Uh, market sashimi. We got to make sure it's good. Oh, fuck. Oh, I latched onto the roof. Ha! Imagine how the developer was even able to, to, to make this like level design. It's just insane to me. Maybe, maybe uh, they just like half assed it, you know, and then it turned out to be good design. I, I don't know. This game's speedrun must be coming all the shapes and sizes. Must be crazy. Uh, man, I don't even want to imagine what it is like. Oh, I have to take this with me. Oh, fuck. Hey, oh, it's pulling me down. Oh, oh, that's cool. Ah, that's so cool. Holy shit, this is so cool. Ugh. Dude. Okay, you know what? Smart level design. Take it back. Uh, well, that's a problem. Oh, no.
Ah, uh, damn it. I'm stuck now. I gotta take it. Okay. Can maybe kill everything. Uh, huh. Shit. How am I going to go about this? No. Almost died. Another VCR made me wonder if there were any more. What's up, Louie? How's it going? Man. I rummaged behind the TV and was not surprised to find two more dusty old tapes. One just had hours of some strange sport. <laughs> Wait, that was Andre the Giant. <laughs> but the other had a recording of the old man. Hello, hello, came his voice again. Right, this is urgent. Cancel the nanobot program immediately. All production to be stopped. Contain the remaining units in these corrosion proof canisters. Although I'm sure it's obvious, the old man continued. We have discovered that they are essentially unstoppable and can form a controlling intelligence around any object. Need I say more? Well, at least that explained why everything moved with minds of their own. I'd never been in this part of the house before, but I figured I would get back to more familiar surroundings once I made it through these laboratories. Okay. What's up, Kashim? Uh, 
Oh god. That's pretty five heads. Oh, of course I get hit at the last second. How do I do this? Huh? <laughs> does it does the gravity invert? It's not supposed to. It only inverts when I get near a wall. Oh fuck. There you go. <gasps> no. There you go. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, there's one shield but I can't get through all this spinning is yeah you know I'm starting to think that this might not be a good game for people to watch because it might make them sick to their stomach it's really it's really cool concept though I do. Uh. Oh, I died. Uh. Did I break it?
Fuck! <laughs> Sentinel, thanks for the 20 months. Are you are, like, are you guys like feeling sick, by the way? Oops, that was a. That was a cool boss, yeah. I think it's frame perfect. Oh wow, if you die, if you die so many times, it gives you a shield. <laughs> Yeah, I guess I need that help. Yeah. I have pity shield. Yo, I don't know if I can get that stuff. I, I don't think I'm supposed to. I need another way to get it. Oh, 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 what is this? Why is it going up? This game is crazy. I needed to get back on the moving lift. I did? Do I, uh, what? Well, well, let's go! Wait, I think, I think this is not the right way. Yeah. I think it's just to go back down and that's it. I'm stupid. I, I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, it's literally to go back down on the other side. Y'all, Ranu gone. Thanks for the resub. How's it going? Oh, we did it, man. God, I'm so good. Uh, I mean, <laughs> oh, damn it. Well, you know what? I'm just going to hit myself. There you go. I got my two shields back. That's the way to do it.
You know, I'm really starting to get used to it, though. What? My shoes struggled to grip the slippery wall. I'd need to keep jumping to climb it. Oh my god! New mechanics. Bro, this is actually stressing. Fuck! What the fuck? Wait, why did that happen? <laughs> no! We did it! Oh, they're clear! Knock, knock. Chuckled Mr. Silton. <laughs> it's alright. We'll claim it on the insurance as accidental damage. Okay. Get me a new TV as well. <laughs> I explained to them that I had found some of the old man's home videos, and the contents had shocked me. The dirty old bugger. What's up, Lightorius? But I didn't know what he meant. So I continued explaining about the nanobots, and Mr. Silton said we needed to get our sharpest minds on the case. Not you dipshit, he barked at Mr. Preston. We need to rescue Heather and her mum. I wasn't sure what Mr. Silton meant by rescue, but I thought I would leave them to clear up. The weather felt cold and ominous as we made our way back outside. Before we meet the others, I need you to help me get my stolen van back, explained Mr. Silton. It's going to be dangerous, and we need someone expend uh, dependable. <laughs> the equipment was heavy, but I was happy to help pack the large boxes until Preston returned with what Mr. Silton called the mean machine. Whoa! A milk van! Oh, chapter five. Um, do I like my new house? Uh, you know. Mr. Preston seemed even more oh. anxious than usual. At first, I thought he just needed to use a toilet, but Mr. Silton explained that their old gang members lived around here. Somehow, the money went missing when we robbed that post office. He continued. For some reason, they thought we'd taken it, but. As he put it, why would we live in such a dumb if we had a load of money? Although this clarified things for me, it certainly didn't calm Mr. Preston, who suggested we gotta move on. Don't worry, we'll be a matter of minutes. We just need to send Mr. Chips up there to have a look, said Mr. Silton as he pointed to a window high up the building. Go on, he said with a smile, off you go then. Uh, we, we, li we like the house. Um, you know, you, you don't, you don't really notice all the things in the house until you actually live in it. And man, there's lots of annoying little nitpicky things that, you know, we're realizing like, damn, I wish they could have done that for us. Oh, well, shit, man, that sucks. Um, but yeah, the move was great. And everything. Why is it voiced by a British AI? So that they can save 
money, I guess. But this game was like done years ago. This is before the AI craze that's happening recently. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> we missed you. Thank you for coming back. We also hate you. I <laughs> that nothing changes. You should ask Horace how to communicate communicate with humans. Yeah, I should because obviously I don't know how to communicate with people. <laughs> I really don't. I realize I really don't uh, uh, know how to communicate with people. Also, someone was saying that uh, Mr. Preston has a weird tooth. He has a cigarette in his mouth. What was the announcement? The announcement was that uh, you guys are awesome and I'm back to streaming. <laughs> 70,000 junk. Let's go. Oh, oops. I, I, I do have an actual announcement soon, but uh, I have to wait until it happens and then I can talk about it. All junk cleared. Nice. The man didn't look like a thief, but maybe his striped jumper was in the wash. Mr. Silton was certain he'd stolen the van though, so I watched for a moment. But then I heard Mr. Silton climbing up. I was going to speak, but Mr. Silton held a finger up to his lips. He looked incredibly serious for a moment. One swift movement, and we were inside. Mr. Silton whispered that I was to go one way while he went another. Why are you whispering? I asked him. Where are we going? Find the keys to my van, Robocop, said Mr. Silton through gritted teeth. That's kind of weird. Jeez. Danger 10,000 uh, volts. Why is it that everywhere in this world, there's just electricity just constantly running? Why couldn't it just be normal? There you go. Okay, man. What is that noise? Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, now we're getting into the diagonals. Piles of junk were all wired into the mains. I suppose it was a good deterrent against thieves. Oh, bear traps. Nice. Oh. Dude, what the? Ugh. Yeah, my mom's visiting. Uh, I haven't seen her. I was talking about it, but I, I haven't seen her for three and a half years. Okay. Motion sensors, nice. Oh, this is the first time she's gonna meet my daughter. Yeah, yeah. I mean, she's done like FaceTime and stuff. With all the huge piles of junk everywhere.
Well, we made it. That's all that matters. <laughs> Who puts this in their building? Old man is definitely Dr. Willy. But you're not talking about the the dead old man. Like our our, our our like dad dad. Old man. Oh. Yo, we got this. We're getting so good at the game. What? Uh, okay. It's going to be rough. Oh. Okay. What? I didn't know which key I should take, so I took all of them. Taking all of them. Okay. Yeah. Sounds like a plan, man. all of the keys okay now what do i do with the keys do i go back uh there's nowhere to go i guess we go back i have to do this again do i go back There isn't anything else. Yeah. Yeah, there's nowhere else to go. As soon as I heard the gunshot, I knew I needed to go back and find Mr. Silton. Yo, things are getting spicy. 
Is Mr. Silton dead? He always was a gangster. This is gonna suck. Oh, blood he's not supposed to have blood he's a robot oh it was my tie i knew that yeah <gasps> no Wait, where is this? Huh? way Mr. Silton went exactly which is this away sure totally going the right way Mr. Stills must have some nice news to get through here. Ah, not the if this is mine. The man was pointing an even older gun right at Mr. Silton's face. But the man looked terrified when he saw me. I can still picture his hand shaking as he reloaded his ancient firearm. This wasn't the plan, shouted Mr. Silton. It's him or me. Let him have it. I'm gonna shoot this old man! I didn't know what I was going to do when I caught the old man. But I knew I had to stop him. <laughs> Get 
Can we can we talk about how amazing this guy is? If someone dared hurt my friend. He's like jumping backwards while aiming and shooting at me. They would have to pay. Ah, thank you for waiting for me. <laughs> he doesn't continue to run. He just waits for me. Nice. Whoa. What the fuck? What did I do? I disintegrated him. What is this 3D scene? Yo, this this game got really dark and deep. Are we the bad guys? I thought we were the good guy. Why did it have to turn out like this? I kept turning the events over in my mind. Could I have handled things differently? Could I save Mr. Silton without hurting that man? Mr. Preston could see I was upset and said music was a good alternative to facing up to problems. Come with me, he insisted. I'm going to teach you how to play drums. First, he said, just play the bass drum along with me. <laughs> You only killed someone. <laughs> Let's go play some drums. You'll see how good your timing is. <laughs> ah. Play the beat. Mr. Preston asked, were you happy with that or would you like to try again? Play the beat. Am I supposed to do it with him? Mr. Preston asked, were you happy with that? No! Down a few hits to get a feel for them, continued Mr. Preston. Watch me play the notes as they hit the dock, like this. Oh, he did that. Now you try. Now try. No. Mr. Preston asked, "Will you have?"
What is the text saying? Is it bad things? I literally can't look at it. Not too close. I got an E plus for excellent. <laughs> Was I doing it wrong? I don't, I missed 107. I was doing it wrong. I was doing it wrong. I was too early. How am I too early? Uh, you're not supposed to line it up. You're not supposed to line it up with the fucking... Uh... You fucked up the calibration? I... Oh no. I was supposed to hit for the calibrate. You ruined the cal. How do I go? How do I fix the calibration? I'm satisfied with this. Mr. Silton was patched up, but still pretty angry. He referred to the man as a word that wasn't in my dictionary file. It should have been between canny and cup. <laughs> I reminded Mr. Silton about going to find the others now we had the van. But he said there was something even more important we had to do first. Mr. Silton explained that it was a good idea that Mr. Logan be released from prison early, and that this wouldn't involve a parole board Logan Paul? that might involve dynamite. Straight away I was apprehensive. I thought only bad people went to prison. I knew Mr. Logan was the guitarist in Mr. Silton's band, but why would we help a bad person? <laughs> in the end, I think it's only Mrs. Silton's smile that convinced me to help. Mrs. Silton promised to have a present for us when we got back. She said she'd been saving her money from her decorating job. I didn't know what I would need money for, but then realized, if nothing else, new games consoles must be out. <laughs> be careful, said Mrs. Silton with a big <sighs> smile. Don't rob any post offices, and don't get shot. He's gonna get shot. In the dead of night, it was 100%. surprisingly easy to get close to the prison building. Mr. Silton said it was like the Death Star and had a weakness we could exploit. <clears throat> Although I seem to remember the robot getting shot when they did that in the film. But there was no time to worry as Mr. Silton pressed a walkie-talkie into my hand and said, Good luck. 
Yeah, good luck, dude. <clears throat> Friends aren't always what they seem. Oh, this is a wall. Oh, I'm stupid. Ah. Disco hmm? Demolition, thanks for the 20 months. Uh, what was the announcement? The announcement was hello. I I guess we have to just go this way. <clears throat> yeah, it was here first. Okay. Oh, it's timed? Ah! the security lights would set off an alarm. What is that? Is that a gun? I needed to find somewhere to hide, or the guards would kill me. Oh shit! Actual guards! One second. Most, most. Uh, I'll bring it back. You know, I feel like we're going to have to get a walkie talkie system in the, in the house. <laughs> Since now I'm on the second floor. <laughs> okay.
Well, Monica spilled her food all over the floor, all over her clothes. And quite a mess. Yep. I'm assuming my son, Prime Taro. Wait. No one H. Hi, Alex. Hi, chat. Hey. What's going on? Bro, give me a break. Uh, Marf IRL, thanks for the prime. Dude, uh, I forgot my water. Fuck.
I sub to chaos. No one rave. Okay. What's up, Browers? Thanks for the resub. Man, really bad timing. <laughs> The Amazon driver couldn't find us. Six baby, let's go. Yeah, much type. love, Arix. No one love, and you look cute tonight. Chat, no one shy. Thank you so much, Typhoon, for the resub. <laughs> Are you gonna hide? <laughs> That's funny, man. Fuck. Uh, shit. How am I gonna eat this? Ooh, that tastes kind of weird. How do you get out? Oh. Dude, this is gonna be extremely difficult. What the fuck? <laughs> According to Mr. Silkton, this was the switch that would open the laser door to Mr. Logan's cell block. Okay, so I have to go to cell block H. Oh, they can't see me through the walls. I'm stupid. <laughs> what? Wait. Ah. <laughs> Do we need a cardboard box? Anybody? Please. Oh, alarm override. Hmm. Wait. Okay, so that's cool. I can do that. Guards in every single game are so stupid.
Because when they're smart, people complain. That just means they're not gamers. I don't even know if that ah! I came from here. I'm dumb. Ah! Ah! <clears throat> hey, I am very good at stealth games. I don't know what you're talking about. on the head oh no oh i died whoa that was sick oh now i know how to do it that bad at games I'd say I'm pretty okay There was a bush I could have hidden in? What bush? What? Oh my god. Ah. 
Oh. Oh, does it not work if... They see you? Man, this area is really confusing. How do we even get past that, dude? These guards are so bad. <laughs> Do you just not? Is it just inevitable? <laughs> Mr. Silton seemed to think this would open the cell block door. Luckily, he was right. Okay. Uh. Yeah, dude, you have to, you have to be seen. Uh, okay. What happened there? That was, that was frankly, some bullshit. Bullshit. Why? What happened? You think only the brighter part counts? See, I thought that too, but then I tried going in the lighter part and it still, it still rang me. Okay, never mind. They shouldn't be able to see through the walls. What the heck? Uh, 
Unsurprisingly, Mr. Logan's cell was locked, but, thanks to my speedy brain, I was able to hack it in seconds. <laughs> Mr. Logan was not pleased to see me. No one ever was. But I couldn't work out why. However, when I mentioned Mr. Silton, he soon cheered up. We quickly made our way outside. Although I wasn't sure about Mr. Logan's stealth techniques, they were quite different from mine. <laughs> but someone must have noticed Mr. Logan was missing. As, with a bright flash, we were soon attacked. This still wasn't the plan said Mr. Silton as he insisted he was okay, and that, no, I didn't need to clean up the trail of blood. He did however urge me to take care of the huge tank bearing down on us. I didn't kill it. Easy. Oh, not that yet. We all piled oh. into the van. Mr. <coughs> Logan and Mr. Preston took out large guns as Mr. Silton gave me some driving software. It basically explained that one foot pump made the van go, and the other one signaled Mr. Logan and Preston to fire their guns. Whoa, what is this? Uh, this game is from 2017, I think it was. Bullets back fired on red and on fatal wounds, but statistically that was incredibly unlikely. Strangely, <clears throat> I felt too excited and relieved to care. Mr. Silton winced as he clutched his bleeding shoulder and explained how you can't make an omelette without breaking a few eggs. I think broken eggs meant dead people. Oh. Sometimes, he said, you have to do whatever it takes to survive, even if that means killing. But not innocent people, said Mr. Logan as he stared straight ahead. Eventually, I asked Mr. Logan what he had done to end up in prison, but he just continued staring out of the window. Mr. Preston smiled as he said, I suppose someone should explain. He told me when the war started, he and Mr. Silton had avoided conscription, but Mr. Logan was called up. His unit's first orders were to sweep through a huge <coughs> urban area killing anything that moved. The only trouble was, hundreds of refugees had recently taken shelter there. The generals knew that those people were there, said Mr. Preston, but they couldn't have cared less. 
this isn't the time for another one of your conspiracy theories, interrupted Mr. Silton, although this obviously annoyed Mr. Preston, he continued explaining how Mr. Logan and another man deserted, and, after a poor attempt to hide in a wooden vaulting horse, the pair of them were caught at gunpoint on a train, whilst trying to speak rudimentary German. Mr. Logan guided us down a small side street as Mr. Preston complained that he needed the toilet. Mr. Silton asked why we were taking the scenic route while he was trying not to bleed to death. But Mr. Logan gave Mr. Silton a quick glance. You're fine, he said with the faintest of smiles. Soon the night sky was full of twinkling stars and I was able to impress everyone with my navigation skills. The software was state of the art. But I remember Heather telling me how the ancients had used the stars in much the same way. It always made me smile, thinking about the names she gave the constellations. <laughs> okay. It was the middle of the night by the time Artless, we thanks got for the back, reason. but Mrs. Silton was still up waiting for us. Really, again, in the same place, was all she said as she shook her head and tended to Mr. Silton's second bullet wound. Mr. Preston nearly knocked us over as he sprinted towards the bathroom. It appeared that his body had kept on making urine, even though it didn't have anywhere left to store it. I asked Mr. Silton about Heather and the old lady, but he said he was just about to wash his hair. When I asked him what again here? later, he said the main thing was that we'd got Logan and the van back, and couldn't the rest wait until I had cleaned up the band room for him. I didn't know what to say. Everything we had done, everything I had helped him with, I thought it was all to get everyone back together. But now I didn't know what to think. Before I could say anything, Mrs. Silton explained that it was okay if I only traveled on trains and was alone. I must have looked worried as Mrs. Silton smiled and continued, If you really want these idiots to go with you, they can disguise themselves and catch the next train after you. Mr. Silton was dismissive, and said I'd get nowhere without proper ID. They'll be stopping robots for even the tiniest of things, he said. And a robot passport costs a fortune these days. Well, said Mrs. Silton, it's a good job I've got this. Mr. Robot Silton passport! Confused and asked where Mrs. Silton got the money. Sometimes, said Mrs. Silton, when God slams a door in your face and shoots you twice in the shoulder, he opens a window. <laughs> Mrs. Silton explained how Preston had given her the extra money. He said there was good money to be made selling pills and powder to people that distracted them from the world being an absolute mess. Bedtime, said Mr. Logan as he carried his guitar into his room. Everyone else left one by one, leaving me stroking the dog. Again? <laughs> this is so trippy. Heartless, thank you so much again. I missed one! Game over! I missed two! The true ending is now unachievable! Ah, oh, fuck! Oh, I can barrel? I awoke to the sound of Mrs. Silton making herself some breakfast. It felt very early, but I suppose it was just that we had gotten so late. Mrs. Silton gulped down her coffee, and with a reassuring smile she said, Let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, this machine. <clears throat> Smile face. The pedestrian tunnel was far longer than I expected, but it was nice. It gave me a chance to chat with Mrs. Silton. 
Register all robots. Rogue robots cost lives. She told me she was from an upper class Wait. family and that her parents. Why is it Mario and it's Luigi? Her when she married Mr. Or just Mario. But she said she really was happy being with her husband. And after all, as she put it, he did provide for her in this messed up world. However, I couldn't help but laugh when she said how much she liked Mr. Silton's band. I steered the conversation onto the topic of the war. She explained she had been a nurse near some major combat, but she looked really sad, so I changed the subject. I asked her if the town was nice. Mrs. Silton smiled and described it as a wretched hive of scum and villainy. <laughs> I'm assuming my friend Prime Taro. No one cheers. Hope you're settling into the new home. Thank you, Good Hong. <clears throat> Thanks for the Prime. Good night, Storm. Thanks for watching. Oh, it opens up. There's a lot of cars. There's people here. Can I attack people? Train tickets cost 1000 So Mrs. Silton said I should trade in some of the things I cleaned so I could afford to travel. However, when we tried the door, it was apparent that the junkyard owner wouldn't be back for a while. So Mrs. Silton suggested I try to earn some money by other means. She said there were plenty of jobs in the town that a robot could do. Okay. Help wanted. The largest of the old ladies explained the job to me. I would be drying plates. She explained that old people couldn't afford to retire anymore. So she and her friends had to take menial jobs. <laughs> All the old ladies would be throwing plates at me as quickly as they could. I just had to catch and dry them. Oh my god! Parabolic, thanks for the 28 months. Yeah, it's great. It's just it, We just need time to, you know, make it extra homey. <clears throat> oh, is this the second level? Super hard?
Да. <laughs> Holy man, that was pretty rough. I can't even imagine how hard this one's gonna be. Last one. Surprisingly, this is really hard. Lady, I did it. Cool. Oh, I still can't go in. the old door led into some kind of drinking establishment. But the bartender soon made it clear that, as he put it, they didn't serve my kind here, and that I would have to wait outside. Wow, that's fucked up. Oh my god. Yo, there's a guard that is... <clears throat> The creators really love Star Wars. Is that is that like a Star Wars reference? Uh Wait one second.
Okay. Congrats. Thank you so much. Yo, Mr. Mason, thanks so much. Wait, I, 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 can they do this? Oh, oops. Yeah, these, these type of games did not age well at all. Everyone in this arcade sucks. Hungry ghost. <laughs> so there's dance invader. There's hungry ghost. Day off. There's a guy dressed up as view. <laughs> Robot dyers. Oh shit. What forces of a... Uh... Our boys. The little woods. <laughs> Suddenly, as if by magic, the shopkeeper appeared. Hello, sir. He said, if there's something that catches your eye, just pick it up and bring it over to me. Oh, <gasps> upgrades. <gasps> oh, speedy clean. Yes. I can't go back. Huh? Okay. Sucking junk that's just out of reach. A housewife's best friend. Ha. Huh. Ha. Huh. Long forgotten computer operating system. Okay. Laugh in the face of death with this floaty yellow second chance. I think we need to get this. Uh no. looking to speed up the cleanup? Great choice, sir. That will be three thousand. The fitting room was actually a robot upgrade facility. Once completed the money was digitally taken from my passport account. Uh Guys, I need money again. <laughs> the 
reform and explained the job to me. I would be making bricks. The world needed rebuilding and these bricks would more than help. He said I would be on the end of the production line and would be shaping the final part of the bricks. All I had to do was hit the brick in time with everyone else. <laughs> he has cross eyes. Oh my god, what? Oh shit. Yeah, he has, he has a crush. Everyone's eyes are normal. How long is this? I got a B. Wages are 773. I wonder if the... I wonder if the... The plates are better. I'm slapping a gold bar into a bar. I'm slapping gold mold into a bar. Yes. That is what's happening right now. I don't like this mini game.
What about this one? <gasps> it's a robot that also the does post or work. The job to me. I would be sorting parcels. Many people were now separated by desolate battlefields and needed these care packages to survive. The parcels were either red or blue. I just had to stamp the right ones with the right color. Oh the no! Right I'm gonna really, really mess this up. Okay, thank you for telling me the controls. Oh. I don't like this one either. We're going back to the plates, guys. We're going back to the plates. Gabs, thanks for the resub. Also, Sunshine, thanks for the resub. Golden Girl re reference, yes. 
I still got a B. Yeah. Too much going on. My brain, my brain couldn't process it. But yeah, it they literally look like the Golden Girls. Yeah. Guys, I think I, I bugged it. <laughs> Something happened. Wait, so... Insta-clean? Yo... 30k you know how amazing that would be and speed up things but what is this a long forgotten computer operating system i'm so curious what this does i'm no good with technology sir that cost two thousand What did that do? Huh? Ah, uh, great. Restocking on shield. Oh, no, I don't want to restock on shields. Ah, uh, that it fixes it. <laughs> Why don't I just steal this? Wait, he's shaking his head when I when I press up on the door. I'm sorry, sir. Said the sh Fuck. Suck. There's so many references. Okay, I need to... I need to buy a ticket? Wait, what? I need to buy a ticket, right?
Okay. Oh no. Mind the door. The train is now departing. I gotta take a I gotta take a five minute break. I'll see you guys in five minutes from now. Yep.